Welcome to Metro Casting. I'm Doug Farley. Those who visited the Christmas Boulevard in Berwick this past season are sure to have noticed the display honoring Berwick's very own Winter Olympian, Jason Turdeman, who will be taking part in his second straight Olympics this month in South Korea. His sport is the doubles luge competition, and in the four years since his last Olympics, Jason and his new teammate, Matt Mortensen, have steadily improved and progressed in the World Cup doubles luge standings. In fact, during the last full season for 2016 and 17, Jason and Matt finished third in the world, making them prime contenders for a medal at this year's Olympic Games. Jason got a rare break during the holidays and came home to celebrate with his family and friends. And while here in Berwick, we were fortunate enough to grab a brief interview with him in front of his Christmas Boulevard display. At that time, it had just been announced he had been selected to represent America at the Olympics for a second time. It's incredible. It hasn't really sunk in yet. Um, big things like this take a while. I remember last time when I went to the Olympics, it didn't really hit me that I was an Olympian until I walked in opening ceremonies. So, uh, you know, I think it's really cool. It's, an, it's a huge honor to go and represent Team USA at the highest level, and I'm really looking forward to it. What's the difference between now and uh, in South Korea versus Russia? What's, what's the biggest difference? Uh, the big difference for me, uh, four years of maturing, four years of working in the sport, getting faster, um, reaching new heights, finding myself in a totally different scenario with expectations of my, my performance. Um, the last games for me was really just going to get the experience, uh, and that's exactly what happened. I got a big eye opener. The Olympics are a huge event, and it was a, a much bigger scenario than I'd ever imagined. Um, this time around, Matt and I are going in with great performance expectations of ourselves. Um, we really just want to go and have a solid race and see where that lands us. That can be anywhere from on the podium to just in the top ten. We'll see what happens. Now you finished third in the world last year? That's right. Third in the world last year in doubles luge, and you're going to be going up against pretty much the same people you, you placed third against last year. What's the difference? That's correct. Uh, the difference is the, is the actual stage that we'll be on. Um, these are the same guys that I race against in nine World Cups every year and in World Championships on non-Olympic year. Matt and I have been working really hard the last three and a half years, um, two years leading up into last season, and we've been working on just getting as fast as possible and getting as consistent as possible, and uh, it really paid off. Our, our worst result last year was a 11th place finish. Our top results, we had two silver medals in World Cup competition, one bronze in a Sprint Cup competition. And it uh, landed us at the very end of the season in the World Cup standings behind two German sleds and in front of the third. Uh, we were the only ones able to impenetrate that German podium uh, in the overall World Cup last year, which was really cool. So what are you working on to, to stabilize from that experience to the Olympics? Uh, so right now, this whole season, we've been using it for sled testing uh, for equipment. We're trying to get our sled to be as fast as we possibly can. Um, you know, there's one big race this year. It's coming up in February. We're trying to make sure we're as well prepared for that as we can be. Uh, talk to me about uh, actually uh, the doubles luge itself. When you're uh, steering that, that, that sled, what's that all about? What's the nuances? Uh, so doubles luge is like uh, tightrope walking with a friend. Two sliders trying to act as one uh, to maneuver ourselves down the hill as safely and, and quickly as possible. And uh, so Matt, my top man, he can see I'm in the back. I'm kind of behind Matt. His job is to make sure all the fine steers are taken care of well. He does the, the small entrances and exits of curves when we get into major pressure points. I, I kick in with my higher leverage steering, and then it's my job to keep my shoulders as soft as possible so the sled doesn't skid out, which does happen on occasion. So when you're saying skid out means you just lose control? You lose complete control, that's right. Don't want to be in that position. When was the last time that happened to you? Uh, last weekend in Lake Placid, our second race run, yeah. So it still happens? It still happens. It's part of the sport. Uh, every, everybody does it, even the world champions do it. Uh, it's just when it bites in, when it doesn't. Team-wise, for this coming Olympics, who are we looking for? Who are you trying to beat? Uh, there's two German sleds ahead of us for sure. Uh, the last couple of years, the reigning Olympic champions, Toby Wendell and Toby Arlt, and then the reigning World Cup champions and world champions, Tony Egert and Sasha Benekin. There's one Austrian sled that's been uh, kind of getting in the way this year. Um, Peter Penz and George Fischler are the great guys. And uh, one Latvian double sled, two, two brothers uh, from Latvia that are three-time Olympic medalists. That'll be tough to beat. But we are right there where we belong, fighting with them for podiums every week. So we're all right with where we're at. Just recently, you were, you were named again to the uh, U.S. Olympic team for the doubles lose like that. What was, uh, what was it like hearing your name again, making, making the list? I was a little emotional. Uh, my parents were there, which was awesome. They got to, my dad got off work. He works with FedEx. Uh, it was very difficult for him to get off this time of year, uh, being right before Christmas. Um, but both my parents were there. Uh, a bunch of family friends were there. And uh, to get called on stage to be a two-time Olympian was Probably one of the cooler moments I'll ever have in my life. One of the best entrances I've, I've probably ever had. And uh, 
I'm glad it got to happen for me. Uh, Jason, we're on the boulevard. It's, uh, it's a great day, a great honor. You, you got your face all over this boulevard. Yeah, it's uh, kind of something I never really thought I'd, I'd see. Uh, I never really thought it was in the realm of possibility for me. I didn't think it was worth that kind of recognition, but uh, this is kind of you know, surreal. It's awesome. I want to thank everybody, Mike Monaco and the entire Boulevard Association for uh, allowing me to have my own little display this year. It's really cool. I appreciate it. Talk to me a little bit about uh, the training regimen. Now, people will sit there and go, you're on a sled. Why do you have to work out? Why uh, is that important? Sure. The the start of our sport, it's 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 a, like 90% of the run. You can't win a race at the start, but you can lose a race at the start. Um, it's the only point in our run where we can accelerate ourselves at any time. So when we pull off, we do illusion, we start in a seated position, we pull off of handles. So having a strong upper back and shoulder um, muscular groups is very important. And then we paddle with our hands. We have spikes on our gloves that we throw into the ice and propel ourselves down with. Three to four to five, some tracks seven, eight or nine paddles. Um, but really it's the only chance we have to, to propel ourselves. Everything after that we lay down, we, we leave it up to gravity and our sliding ability. So uh, it's super important for us to be strong and quick at the start of our, of our run. So that's why we do a lot of weight room training. And steering the sled? Uh, steering the sled is a lot of body control, a lot of core work. Um, slight leg maneuvers, slight shoulder maneuvers, a lot of just body weight um, moving, like left and right, down and up with curves, kind of can set the sled. They're so fine-tuned that they steer pretty much on a dime. So the smaller movements, we try to make those uh, the more common way of steering to, to try and not jump the sled too bad. Talk to me a little bit about your partner. About Matt? Yeah. All right. Um, Matt is a 32-year-old from Huntington Station, Long Island. He's a member of the Army National Guard in uh, coordination with the World Class Athlete Program of the U.S. Army. He's, uh, he's a staff sergeant. He's been there for a real long time. I think he's done nine years already with the military. Um, he's a college graduate with DeVry University, which I'm currently enrolled in, trying to work on my education as well. Um, Matt's a hard worker. He's a really good guy. We like to have fun and we like to go fast. I mean, it, it's, it seems to be working. We've been doing you know doubles together for only four years, and we're in the medal talks here in the upcoming Olympics. It's pretty cool. Uh, what is it like traveling Europe and all those places we never get to go to? Uh, the traveling with the sport's a huge blessing. Uh, I've gotten to see the world two, three times over, four times over now, and um, it really sets into perspective how, how lucky I am to get to do what I get to do and, and to travel the world. I get to see these you know, small towns that the tracks are in, but then on weekends that we have off, we get to go and travel. I've been to Vienna, I've been to Prague, I've seen these great cities that have a lot of history, and it really kind of humbles us down a little bit as a team and puts everything into perspective for us so we can truly enjoy what we're doing. We want to thank USA Luge for the use of their pictures and video in this story. And we remind you, USA Luge and their athletes, such as Jason Turneman, rely on donations, both corporate and individual, to keep their program going. If you would like to help support Jason and USA Luge, make a donation today to the address on your screen. Every little bit helps. And while we wish Jason and Matt the best of luck in their doubles luge Olympic competition, we also want to make note that there are nine more winter athletes from Pennsylvania taking part in this year's Winter Olympics. In luge, Summer Britcher from Glen Rock and Andrew Shirk from Fort Washington. In ice hockey, Ryan Gunderson from Ben Salem, Chad Kolarik from Abington, Brian O'Neill from Yardley, and Ryan Sapolsky from Erie. In bobsled, Jamie Grabel Poser from Newtown. In short track speed skating, John Henry Kruger from Pittsburgh. And from figure skating, Adam Rippon from Scranton. If you would like to help them out with a donation, because remember these are all amateurs and they're all paying their own way, it is suggested you either donate to them directly or to their specific sport governing body, such as USA Luge for any specific luge donations. You can find their information on the TeamUSA.org website. Donations to the U.S. Olympic Committee in general can also still be made. Again, we wish Jason Turneman and all the U.S. athletes the best of luck in the upcoming Winter Olympic Games, and we invite you to watch the Winter Olympics on numerous channels available through MetroCast Cable Television. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again after later. Love.